And, and fourth, Senator, I would say that I personally was not focused on talking points. I was focused on keeping our people safe because, as I said, I have a very serious uh, threat environment in Yemen. It turned out we had people getting over that wall in Cairo doing damage until we got them out. We had a serious threat against our embassy in Tunis. I had to call the president of Tunisia and beg him to send reinforcements, which he did, to finally save our embassy, which could have been a disaster. They burned and trashed our school. So I was pretty occupied about keeping our people safe, doing what needed to be done in the follow-up to Benghazi. I really don't think anybody in the administration was <laughs> really focused on that so much as trying to figure out, you know, what we should be doing. And, you know, I wasn't involved in the talking points process. Um, as I understand it, as I've been told, it was a typical interagency process where staff, including from the State Department, all participated to try to come up with whatever uh, was going to be made publicly available. Um, and. It was an intelligence product, and it's my understanding that the intelligence community is working with appropriate committees to kind of explain the whole process.